Hey everybody, what is going on? Dan O'Connell here with EXP Realty and I wanted to do a quick video on how to win an offer as a buyer in this market. We all know that it's just crazy right now. There's tons of multiple offers, highest and best, all that kind of stuff. So there's really only five or six pieces to the puzzle um, that you can make your offer really, really attractive when you're when you're submitting an offer and obviously okay the most important thing is really whoever's going to win the offer is the one with the, that provides the most amount of money um the sellers at the end of the day really you know for the most part care about one thing which offer is going to put the most amount of money in my pocket um when we close okay so there's there's a couple other things though that that if you guys are you know if there's two or three offers that are the exact same you know how do you make yours the best how do you make your stand out compared to the other ones and the first one is your due diligence money all right and again that's the money that goes straight to the seller okay whether you decide to back out of the contract or not it's a money that's wired straight into their account it's a check that's made directly payable to them it becomes property of the seller immediately okay the other one is the earnest money okay and that's money that's held by the um, the attorney's office by the escrow agent and that goes towards the contract as well if you do close the property then the due diligence money and the earnest money come off the top um, your due diligence period or your inspection period, the, the closer, the shorter amount of period that you can make that, uh, the more attractive to the seller. You know, usually it's two weeks. Right now I'm writing offers. It's, hey, seven days just to inspect this place, uh, 21 days to close. You know, if you have to get a loan, an FHA or a VA, your, your offer might bump down to the bottom. If you're conventional, obviously that's a little bit better. And then cash, uh, you know, you don't need any appraisers. You don't need any, uh, you might not even need a home inspection. Okay, you don't need to go through the whole underwriting process. So cash is obviously the best. Um, and then the last one, okay, is a personal letter. All right, handwritten personal letter to the seller. We'll let them know who you are, um, what your job is, some of your hobbies, that sort of stuff that can help you. You never know, you might, um, you know, create some kind of common ground with those sellers. So those are just some of the things that, that might help um, the buyers out there compete with other buyers. Uh, but at the end of the day, which offer is going to put the most amount of money into the seller's pocket is usually the one that's going to win. Hope everyone has a great day. If you ever need anything, give me a holler.